Good morning, good afternoon, good night. I'm Black Bright and I'm broadcasting out of the UK. And I'm talking about um, a video I was sent where young boys, they look between the age of 12 and 14, were stopped by police, handcuffed. Um, there is a gentleman filming them and telling them not to talk. And ordinarily, these young boys who are 12 would be able to call their parents and ask their parents to represent them. But under the new Antisocial Behaviour Bill, which has got the Crime and Policing um, Act attached to it, the, um, the police don't have to do that. The police don't have to give them permission to speak to their parents. Savage Javid has brought out this new law with children, well, young boys aged 12 and over. They can be stopped and searched at whim, just similar to the SUS law. And if they're caught with a knife, they can be detained and they can do between two and four years. So you can have your child going out, coming home and doesn't come home from school. The next thing you know, hopefully this is not the case because he ha he's not carrying a weapon. He's not carrying a bladed instrument and he comes home safely. But the fact of the matter is young boys need to know their rights. I'm going to show you the, 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 um, the video clip. You can see. You see, um, those young boys are meant to be free from racial profiling. You know, it's it's not right. But on but the law gives the police the right to do that. Now, if young boys don't know their rights, they're going to be stopped by police and you're going to have people like that gentleman, he is trying to help, but who do not know that the law has been changed. So I, in ordinary circumstances, those young boys would be able to call their parents. I'm not quite sure under this new um, curb and curfew or whatever they've called it, they've, it's an amendment to the anti-social um, behaviour bill. I'm not sure if the parents are allowed to be called. That part isn't clear. Now, in normal circumstances, they have a procedure that would affect you. It would affect anybody who's stopped by police. And it's called go wisely. Now, the G is for grounds. The O, well, the grounds for the search, the reason why they're stopping you. The O is for the object that they're looking for. The W is for the warrant, the so warrant number on their shirt. The I is for identity, if they're in plain clothes. The S is for the station they're attached to. The E is for, the, um, they're supposed to get evidence of what is being taken down. The L is for, what's the L for? The L is for the legislation, the power that they're stopping you under. And the Y is the reason why they have stopped you in the first place. So ordinarily, Anybody who gets stops and search, is that the police is, are supposed to follow that procedure. I don't know what protection young boys of 12 have. I don't know why that young boy was being handcuffed. He wasn't, he didn't look agitated. He wasn't loud. He didn't look menacing. And yet 
they were they they'd handcuffed him and then they took it off and you had a group of boys and they're all black why are they all black is it only black boys that carry knives I mean, where are the white guys that they're stopping? So that is racial profiling and it's unlawful. So anyway, I thought I would show that to you because the um, curb and curfew, um, which has been extended, is kind of been integrated with the antisocial bill. It does mean that the police can stop any boy 12 and over and look for a knife. And if they find him with a bladed instrument, he can do two to four years in prison. He can't use the knife to say, I'm defending myself. You can't say, it's, it's, it's not a valid grounds to be carrying a knife, to say you're going to use it for self-defense. In fact, it's unlawful. Those boys say, look, I'm carrying a knife because you know I want to protect myself. What you're saying, you're admitting to is premeditated murder. You're not admitting to self-defense. You're admitting to calculatingly carrying a knife with the intent to use it. So you can't do that. Anyway, um, I just wanted to read the, the bill out. It's very short. Um, the Antisocial Behaviour Order and Crime Policing Act 2014 is given out to the court to stop a person from behaving in certain ways or doing certain things, e.g. noise, rough sleeping, buskers, small groups, irresponsible dog ownership, illegal firearms, knives and forced marriage. And it's been <coughs> amended to include, well, expanded, I should say. The bill contains a variety, I think this was in 2017. The bill contains a variety of measures to protect the public, including from antisocial behaviour, dangerous dogs, forced marriage, sexual harm and illegal firearms used by gangs and in organised crime. It also includes chase, changes to improve the provision of services to victims and witnesses. In addition, the bill will take forward further police reform to enhance the police's confidence, the public's confidence in the police integrity and continue modernising police pay and conditions. What can I say about that? Um, there's one last little bit that I wanted to add. Um, the measures in part 13 improve the efficiency and effectiveness of the justice system while enhancing the provision of services to victims and witnesses by establishing in law a test of clear innocence for the purpose of determining eligibility for compensation for miscarriage of justice. So technically, you know, all that means is that if you've, um, you're you guilty until proven innocent, but the police have to make sure that you are guilty because otherwise, you know, it's going to cost the police an arm and a leg if they're found to be um, not following the law. So I would plead with you, educate your children or ask them to educate themselves about their rights with to do with the police, ask them to look up the, that can be their homework, ask them to look up the antisocial behaviour bill so that they know that the police can stop them, that they have a right to stop them, have a right to search them. I'm not quite sure about what questions they're to ask. Um, ask, find out whether or not parents are to be involved in this, in, in this antisocial behaviour bill. I don't believe that they have to call the parents under this law. It really is to stop and search on their way. So I don't know about that. So I suggest that you work with your boys um, to find out what their rights are, teach them their rights so that when the police stop them, they know exactly what to expect and they know how to respond without um, appearing to be obstructive. Because the worst thing you want is your 12 your 12 year old child being obstructive. You don't want people on the street who are trying to help giving the wrong information. If you educate your, your youths yourself, your sons yourself, then you will know that they, when they go out on the street, you know that they'll know how to respond and behave so they're not criminalized or turned into victims. So that's all for now. Bye bye.